Every 59 ever we picked up sounds great. They've uh, done good for me. Uh, I love them, I love them, I love them. Mwah! A uh, real piece of machinery with a lot of hope. If you were to go up in your attic and find an old brown case like this and open it up and find an old guitar like this, you'd be about $400,000 richer. The 1959 Les Paul Sunburst. There's nothing better than to have a guitar. That's a friend like having a dog. <laughs> Just don't get a dog guitar. <laughs> I keep a guitar in my bedroom and also on the on tour, you know, just in my hotel room. There's never been a morning where I haven't woken up and gone, God, that's awesome looking. Of approximately 1,600 made, fully 1,000 of these are unaccounted for today. Though many are probably destroyed and lost forever, several hundred may still be hiding in attics, closets, and garages all over the world. In 1964, the Rolling Stones toured America for the first time. Guitarist Keith Richards bought a burst and played it all across America. Another English band, the Yardbirds, were also enjoying great success. Just beginning his phenomenal rise to stardom was young blues guitar player Eric Clapton. Clapton's work on the legendary Beano album is possibly the single most influential electric blues guitar playing of the 1960s. Continuing on to huge international success with Cream, Clapton's guitar of choice was the 1959 Burst. But the story doesn't end here. Many other legendary guitar players were to find something magical about this guitar. When they see this guitar, they think of all of that music. They think of the experiences they had when they heard that music and they want to attach themselves to that and they want to have a piece of that and I think that's why these guitars have become so valuable and so collectible. The Les Paul has really shaped what we've come to be known for and I, I think that it's important that, that uh, we give all the credit to this fabulous instrument. I just was, I was an old school guy, so I just, to me, I just a good Les Paul was the thing to have. I think I'm pretty much the only guy was, that was out there at the time, especially of my generation that was using one. There's something about really the way that it looks that makes it above and beyond all, all the other Les Pauls. What makes these really special is the maple tops on them. Each one's different. It's kind of like a fingerprint. Les Paul sunbursts have always been considered the holy grail of collectible guitars. If you, if that's probably the number one collectible guitar that there is. And so as the market's gone up, they have really appreciated. They've been leading the, leading the parade, so, so to speak. The sunburst Les Pauls I deal in that I sell are generally between five and $10,000. What's the best price you ever paid for a burst? The best price was my first one. $5,000. Is it worth more now? Yes, yeah, <laughs> quite a bit more. <laughs> the prices are obscene, so I can't even say the prices. You think one of these guitars will reach a million dollars? Absolutely. How soon? My prediction, within the next five years. Yep. Yes. Anytime I saw anybody with one of those guitars was instantly cool to me.